This is A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. What's up? What's up? We are back with our first episode, official episode of A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, the place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. And in the building, we have Tracy J and we have our boy Eli here to talk about our Survivor 44 cast assessments. What? Yep. Let's get into what was going on, what we've been up to, what y'all up to. Child, um, I'm gonna tell y'all I, what I have planned for this weekend. Oh, um, you know, if I get a babysitter, which is <laughs> Mimi, which is grandma, so yeah, she stayed 37 seconds away from me, but <laughs> literally a half a step out the door. <laughs> but I'm talking about like you go two red lights and she live right there. But shout out to Mimi, um, uh, but I'm very excited to see Creed, um, three this weekend. Is it this um, weekend? Yes, this weekend. Oh, no, sounded good. That did um, come on, Triance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very excited to see um, Creed three. I mean, I've always been a fan of Michael B. Jordan. Uh, a lot of people be hating on him, but I like him. I think, <laughs> I think he's fine. and I do think he's a really good actor. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm also um, equally excited to see Jonathan Majors, and the way Jonathan Majors is cashing these checks left and right. I mean, Brother Man has dropped three movies this year, and it's February. Is he the male version of Kiki Palmer, dare I say? Listen, something. Hold up. He needs to do it for a little bit longer. Okay. okay, You ain't had it for years. Okay, you're right. He's doing it from from Jim, huh? But he is... Gotta chase a chick, Jonathan Majors, apparently. Because he's Kang and Ant-Man, right? He's Kang and Ant-Man. He's um, the Kree, you know, not villain, but like the antagonist. Per se, or he may be the protagonist, and you know, Creed, you know, may have been. Man, we shady. know Michael B. Jordan's the protagonist. <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of this um other movie he's in. Then he played that little like the Airman, right? He was like a pilot. Yes, right? yes. I literally said I was gonna watch that this weekend. Yeah. Um, that dropped in January, I think, in the January, and I heard it's really yeah. good, mm-hmm. but I haven't had a chance to watch that one yet. So but he's like anything... back to back number one movies that listen, aren't even the same movie. Fuck listen. Ant-Man. That's yep. premiering number one, straight to Creed. Can't to go. Oh, and also, John the Majors also has a movie that came out in Sundance about him being a um, bodybuilder. Uh, body, yes, Ooh, that's what he, four projects. Baby, the body. body, the body is body, built. Yaddy, 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 Listen, yaddy, 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 yes. So shout out to John the Majors. Four movies he done dropped, and it's it's about March first. That's insane. That's crazy. So shout out. We to love him. it. Oh, so yeah. speaking of that, so that's some drama that happened too with Michael B. Jordan. He was on the like little press carpet, and the oh, little lady that, was that. like, "Oh yeah, so we you know we went to high school together, X, Y, and Z." Basically, trying to be like, "Oh, I know him. We best friends." And he was like, "Oh yeah, you know the corny dude, right?" She's like, "I didn't call you that." He was like, "No, I heard like it was said like before." And then so mm-hmm. he basically back like, in middle school, mm-hmm. it went way back to L'Oreal Lorraine and stuff. I do not like her interviews. I've I've seen her a couple of times. She messy. Mm. She's annoying. I don't like her. That's exactly what she get. And when you bully somebody, they're going to come back and remember it in your face exactly. because Michael B. Jordan probably got a lot of zeros in his bank account. And you got like $13.47 <laughs> in yours. And it's just a, a, a you know a realization like you shouldn't bully people at all because you don't never know that part. who they are and who they will become. and Because they're going to remember part. like What's the saying that people, they will forget what you said and what you, you know, did, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. Listen, and so mm-hmm. and I mean, Taylor, Taylor is a good example. I mean, mm-hmm. sis messed up and won $750,000 mm-hmm. for getting bullied. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that, Listen, so. and it's not even now. about like. And that's uh, what you get. Taylor mm-hmm. cash and checks. Big money. And yeah, it's not even about not bullying someone just in case they make it big. Shoot, just be kind to people. Thank you. People go it's, through different it's struggles. So easy. Right. It's so easy to just be kind and absolutely. Shoot, yeah, got Taylor her money because everyone was being janky to her. And my someone like Michael B. Jordan, you think he's so big he wouldn't remember something like middle school. Mm-hmm. Man, worse can hurt. So they just, do. Shoot, be kind. That part. That part. And so it's 
it was that was really it was a funny moment on Twitter, anyways, because everybody's like, "Yeah, he got his lick back." <laughs> he had that beat it chick like moment because you know that real viral <laughs> meme uh, when like the nerdy guy is trying to talk to the popular girl and she's like, "I don't want you. I want the dude over here." That's kind of like the thug guy or whatever. He's a nerd. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then like later on, it shows her like pregnant. It's that's all type of problematic, but it's like she's later on she he's rich and famous and now she's trying to talk. He's like, "Beat it, chick!" <laughs> like, oh my god, but. Yeah, that was one of the the bigger things uh, that happened this weekend. I'm still chilling. I haven't really done much over the weekend. Just kind of binge watching TV shows in preparation for Survivor and BB Can. So, oh, speaking of BB Can, um, while we on the topic, of mm-hmm. Big Brother, that um, they released a, a statement today. Um, I guess from CBS Big Brother, whoever we came from. Mm-hmm. But BBUS um, officially said, like, I don't know what BB can <laughs> doing, but in these streets, Big Brother US gonna keep them fees because Big Brother US, what they gonna do? Chase a check. Chase and they know that check come from those fees. Right. So I'm glad. I mean, I really, really, really wish we had fees for Big Brother Canada, but at least we got some fees coming. Right, and Lord knows mm-hmm. BBUS feeds are not perfect. Hmm. Believe me, they will cut and do all types of stuff. But I'd rather have a little little crumbs than nothing. Hello. So mm-hmm. hopefully, you know things change. But I'm excited for this season. Absolutely. But um, it's time the, for the producers to be able to finally rig the buzz killed cop again. Listen, uh, like they tried to do last season. Listen, tried and got caught. <laughs> <laughs> And they got mad at that, and after that, they said, "Ah, oh, we give them them daily dallies or whatever they're called." Yeah, don't nobody want to miss them little raggedy yeah. dailies. I was like, "What is that?" Daily. Digital dailies. That's what it Dig- is. Oh, little raggedy mm-hmm. dailies. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Yeah. Overall, I'm still excited for it. Hopefully, it's a decent cast, but it's just a different. It doesn't feel like Big Brother. Like Big mm-hmm. Brother has that aspect where it's live. And I guess the only aspect that they're keeping the same is they are editing it without knowing who the winner is. Exactly. That's always a nice part in Big Brother. Anyone can go home, but not having live feeds and not knowing the true story. Shoot, who knows what would have happened if we had BB24 without live feeds? Oh, right. Taylor might exactly. be the villain. Exactly. Be, uh-huh. They're going to tell Paloma, oh, you're not on uh, screen 24-7. She doesn't lose her mind. Taylor gets bullied, goes home, and is seen as a villain. That could be what happens without we, live feeds. We never would have known. Even we don't even have to talk about BBS. We can just go back to BB Can a le- ten and how mm-hmm. a mess it was and what we had to see and what they dealt with in that house, the racism and bigotry and foolishness that they encountered. So it's kind of like, oh my goodness, what would we have thought about what they what they did with Marty? They made him a hero. They gave him. I would have been a Marty stand. Like. They did all this stuff and helped him win freaking America. I mean, Canada's favorite. And he was terrible. And that was with feeds. So I can only imagine how it's going to be without it. I love it. I love it. So let's get started, y'all. Okay. Um, so uh, we got uh, Jamie Lynn Ruiz, 35, from Arizona. What's her occupation? Yogi? She says a oh. yogi. She's a yogi. What is a yogi? <laughs> I don't know. She, a she, yoga she, she said that with full on confidence in her <laughs> initial statement. She's like, I work as a yogi. Okay, I think I, I wrote... she's a yoga. She's a she's a heavy man. Oh yeah, I put yoga. Yoga yeah, I put a yoga lady in my uh, you know what I said. Y'all want to know what I said for my what you say? I said it seems naggy and annoying. I said okay. she's going to play too hard, too fast. Because she's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be in think control. So? And she's going to be a pre merged boot. You think so? I do. She was annoying me in her video. So I know she's going to annoy the cast members. For some odd reason, in my opinion, I think she's going to like just skate to the end. I think she's going to be kind of in the cut. I think she's going to be um, not wanted in conversations, but she's mm-hmm. going to be there. So they're like, oh, yeah, and Jamie Lynn. You know, she's, like, yeah. she's just going to be a part of the group. And they're like, oh, yeah, they're going to be using her as a number. And then she's going to skate to the end. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. I see her getting to final three. Mm. Really? Yes. And I think she's going to skate mm. right off the bat. We're going to see what you mm-hmm. think about her. Eli. I hope not. I don't know. I just. <laughs> 
you know what? She seems very kind. And everything we all say today is off of what 50 minute, one minute snippets. We don't know yep. these people. Yes. But, but I'm sorry. Uh I'm not shout out not to the feeling. manifestors, but I don't know. I I, I just she gonna manifest that, that torch snuffed out is what she gonna mm. manifest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next up we got Heidi. I I'm not gonna even say her last name. <laughs> you beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful last names. The goddess yeah. Green Block. Ah, block, 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 block. Um, <laughs> like, she's forty three from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Um, and her occupation is an uh, engineer. Um, okay. I'm a fan Smart. of her just from jump because she said she was a Sandra Stan, and um, that's all the notes I needed on her. So I hope she don't do nothing crazy because I'm gonna support her. Um, I hope she um makes it far. Man, I'm people say one name and they trick y'all. Everyone knows Sandra <laughs> Diaz Twine. She she did she didn't even say nothing about Sandra's game. She's just like oh you oh, think Sandra's oh you think I'm getting Eli? She she just uh she's that, another person that I want to be part. like. She did not say a single thing about her game. I don't know. She don't survivor. I probably Speak need to look more into bio. Oh, so you think I'm but getting played? You get I think you get played. That's that's like me walking Ooh. to Big Brother saying, "Oh, I like Dan. I like Doctor Will." Choose, Everyone knows choose, what that is. Choose that me because I'm looking at my notes. You want to know what I said? Eric, the very first say? line, easy first boot, and not necessarily first really? boot for, of the show, but a first boot of her tribe. Whatever tribe she's on, she's gonna be the first boot. I said I she think, could be. I think she's gonna um have a um I think she's not gonna watch what she says and I think that's gonna get her trouble. Like you know how like you have little like comments you say little slick comments for some reason I can see her saying stuff to annoy people and I think that's mm-hmm. gonna get her booted. Like did you hear what Heidi said? Yeah. I think it's gonna be some kind of like cattiness um with that. Mm-hmm. Cause I yeah. also said I was like she loves Sandra. I said that could she could potentially go far. I said, but if she can play a similar game to Sandra, because that's what good you know that you mentioned, Eli. She mentioned nothing about Sandra's game, and so it's like you can say that's you love true. everybody, but can you play like them? Are you trying to play like them? That's mm-hmm. a different story than them inspiring. Because she really said she inspired her because you know she's from Puerto Rico as well. I believe I don't know. Don't she might have just googled uh, Survivor <laughs> contestants from Puerto Rico and been like, uh, oh yeah, Sandra, I'm gonna go with this. Because mm-hmm. it's a whole different thing to be inspired somebody because you know they're they look like you they come from where you come from versus you are inspired by their gameplay and you want to adapt that a similar gameplay those are two very different things there's nothing wrong with it like mm-hmm. Sandra is a queen we yeah. love Sandra mm-hmm. twine over mm-hmm. here but loving her because of what she stood for and how she inspired you to be on the show as representation versus the gameplay right two mm-hmm. different things so and she leaves me expecting more that's what i said at the end i was yeah. wanting more from that video yeah, we gonna she see. didn't say nothing about her game you know what <laughs> no I she really did not i think she talked about puerto rico and sandra <laughs> and then she was just like oh that's a wrap i'm gonna that's see y'all on the beach yeah right there's like all right next <laughs> okay so um oh, next up we got matt um, he's 27 from California, um, and he's a security software engineer. Hmm. What is, what is, security. I was just about to say, is that like, um, uh, what's it called? Norton, like security? Could like be, your virus so protection? Like protect, protecting data of yeah. users. Okay, okay. But there's even people that do the inverse. It might have sound like he might have done the inverse before where he's trying to break in and make sure. That's what uh, he said. Oh, so he gets hired to break in, and then he goes and tell companies like, "Oh, this is what, what you the... can work on." Oh, okay, okay. That sounds like a cool job to have, actually. Mm-hmm. It is, and that's why he's uh-huh. so really awkward. He's gonna be mm. so awkward. I put that, and he's a nerd. You think so? Yeah, I can tell. He wasn't looking at the camera. Wait, we got was... two Matthews. I hate that. Um, well, he goes by Matt, so I think his name is just Matt. Let's get to the yeah. end. You add in his name to me. He seems, I mean, he seems chill, he seems nice. I mean, in my uh initial notes for everyone, I mentioned if they have that dog, if they're just like good vibes, or if they don't have that dog, he just doesn't have that dog for me. Like, he seems cool, he's just, I don't see winner in him. And if we're just talking purely based on winning, cool. I don't know if he's gonna lead anything, and he could completely do that, but in my mind, he's not gonna lead a vote, he's not gonna. Mm-mm. 
yeah. drive the, the direction of the game. Yep. He's just going to be there. I put in my Listen. notes. I said he may be seen as a mental threat because I feel like he's going to be talking too much, that nerdy talk, and he's going to be seen as like a That's mental a threat. talk. But also, I say that like I'm not a cool nerd. Like, y'all, I'm a nerd at heart. Don't get me wrong, oh, but I'm, Lord. I'm a cool nerd. Um, oh, my God. Jesus. And- <laughs> God. Corny. <laughs> not just like- <laughs> I'll, I'll okay, Michael B. Jordan. Right. Okay. <laughs> Linnell, whatever that girl name is. L'Oreal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got that girl, Linnell. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I put Lone Wolf or I Man out. That's what I said. I can see him being. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see. But Eli, remind me because I forget to that we have a thing that we're gonna do a a who are gonna be their podcast where we're gonna do flop, flat, or fly, and it will be just at the end. That. Yep, we did. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Y'all, we had a whole production meeting about this. Um, and we'll do this at the end after we get through going through all this. And we'll go through each person. If we feel like they're going to be a flop, they're going to just fall flat, meaning they may have started off and then they tapered or they just kind of not wasn't good at all. And they just fell flat the whole time or they fly, meaning they may have started off rough, then they soar or they were just good the whole time. So remind me to do that, Eli, because my mind. Gotcha. Dang, um, how come I can't remind you? Because, Trish, you forget, too. I do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the only thing I had on Matt was middleman. That's the only thing I wrote in my notes. I think he's going to be uh, right in the middle. Uh, he ain't going to be uh, far into the game. I don't think he's going to leave early. He's just going to leave where it's going to be, oh, Matt gone? Yeah. I think that's going to be how much uh, effect it's going to have on, on the game. But we're going to see. All right, we got Miss Claire Rafson mm-hmm. next. Twenty-five Highland Park, Illinois. Um, she's currently in Brooklyn, and she is a tech investor. We had a lot of techie people this season. Listen, huh? I said, they what did they do? Cool. Just Google. I was just about to say, did y'all Google? Because all these people, <laughs> but like two, have almost the dog on same profession. They in the exactly. same like you know area. I miss oh, my yeah, season. Gotta venture out. Right, Eli. This was your season. Eli, you, Man, you straight my up. Fellow, my, te- my fellow uh CS people, my se- my fellow tech geeks. Yes. Yeah. What y'all thought about Claire? What y'all said? Uh my exact thought of Claire. Um, if I put mixed queen. <laughs> shout out uh, to my she kids. mentioned, yeah, she, she said, shout out to them light skins. Um, she mentioned that um she's a lesbian, correct? She did not say that. She said she's a queer black Jewish girl. Or she's queer, so we don't know exactly what her um, um, orientation, orientation is, per se. But she's queer and she's gay. Wait, that same thing, right? <laughs> it's um, the queer umbrella. Term. She's queer and she's Jewish and she's half black, half white. So the fact that she has all these different um, things to pick from, I, I'm very interested to just to hear her talk. And it's a lot of times, everybody know, I don't like the fluff. I don't want to hear nobody backstory. But for some odd reason, I'm concentrated on her story. I want to hear Claire, and I want to hear her stories from back home. Um, and for some odd reason, if y'all watched last season of Big Brother, this is the survivor version of a mirror for me. Yes. I just hope um, she's not the bully. Not she every life is the same. They, I hope not. I really <laughs> hope not, because a mirror was... Um, a bad word. Uh, I don't like her. Um, but Claire, I mean, just watching her little two minute video, like she's giving off like, like little sister every- vibes is what I see. Yes, and I feel like she's very <laughs> likable. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. What y'all What'd think about, about it? Yeah, I thought that my favorite thing that she said, she wants to have fun. What mm-hmm. I want in my players is people that want to have fun. And actually play and try to make moves. And I feel like that's right. what she's saying. So her saying that was a staple where it's just like, all right, Claire, I see you. I got you. And what? Even there in her uh, actual bio, she, the two players that she listed that she wants to play like is Michelle Fitzgerald, who I don't know if y'all know. Um, I don't know. Fan favorite. She's kind of a beast. Uh, okay. And then Natalie Anderson. Um, they're both people who have, I believe they've both done the challenge, but they're both more like I don't know they just play like fun mm-hmm. somewhat mm-hmm. dominant mainly social based uh for Michelle but um just two players that a lot of people enjoy maybe she just looked up the two most like people but you know <laughs> who what? knows right? gonna see. a better two to try to play like than Natalie and right. uh, Michelle okay 
Yeah, I just, I said, I feel like she'll be able to handle the different personalities just based on her background and how diverse it is. I feel like she'll be good socially. That's all I have for her. She didn't really give me much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, social game going to be 10. Hopefully she can like win a cup and get some immunities um, around her neck. Um, but we're going to see. Uh, but next up, I have just been waiting to, uh, to introduce It's already them. in my head. Hey. Because let's get to the yam. Oh, sweet, sweet yam. Show. show me the way. I got I names to pay. Pay. Okay, I ain't asked for backgrounds, but thank you. Oh, here <laughs> I'm just hater, bro. You are a hater. Well, listen, your meal, yam, 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 yam. I'm gonna be singing this song every single time I say his name. Um, but he is 36. He's from Puerto Rico. He might be related to Heidi. I don't know. Maybe Tree. Stop. Bye. I don't know. No. Oh, all black people, they, they're related. <laughs> uh, shout out to that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Tree, uh, she cannot say that, that. that. That's how that's how old school Big Brother. Why can't I say they related? They Howard both and Candace. Oh, they must be related. They're both black. <laughs> no, they might be related just because they both from Puerto Rico. It's oh, somebody aren't re- in Texas and I'm related to her. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. You got it. I'm just you playing. Got it. Um, Good. but, but I, you know what? I hope because Heidi, I feel like we already talked about, like, there's a possibility that she might, her mouth might get her in trouble for some odd reason. I think she's going to be like quick with it and she going, she don't know her limits and hopefully her and Yam Yam can connect on that Puerto Rico and be like, Hey sis, you're going to have to dial it back. Yeah. But your meal, Yam Yam going to have to dial it back too. <laughs> so it, girl. Out, I was just like, hold on. Right when it came out, I was like, hold on, we might need to backtrack. They might need to yes. check each other. Yes. Um, but he seems like he's gonna be so much fun. Um, Love this it. I put in my notes, I put messy, messy king. He is messy king, and I yes. think he's gonna be um uh running back and saying, Oh, somebody said this, somebody said this, somebody said this, and then he and his mm-hmm. little confessional like giggling, like, eh, did nobody say that? Yes. I, I, I really I really want him to be like a funny like villain. Like I want him mm-hmm. to like give us like laughs, but be evil. Kind of like I want him like a Romeo, how Romeo was killing in his confession. Like he was like, I don't care about you being. I'm hungry too. I'm mm-hmm. gonna scrape the bottom plate. But <laughs> Romeo really didn't do nothing in the game, so I want you to do something mm-hmm. in the game and make me laugh. Like I like that you make me laugh, but I want you to play it good too. <laughs> right. That boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the ultimate vibes person. He has the best vibes of anyone on that beach. Absolutely. And one thing y'all said, y'all said he has to hold back his uh, gushing joyousness and everything. Yes. She He's very high energy to the end like that. Just she like had to dial it back though. But she had to dial it back. I was just Great about point. to say, yep, yeah, he's, he's giving he's giving Marianne just you know you can excited, like, be likable mm-hmm. and excited and all that stuff in the beginning. But you gotta know when it's pouring down rain and bugs is eating me up. Shut the hell up. You gotta remember. <laughs> yeah, and remember especially the fact that all these people have seen Marianne win. Yeah, I don't know if he's touching the end. He could get six. Seven. I don't know. I think he's I'm making jury. I'm not letting jury. him touch those final three seats. He'd definitely make jury. I think he's making jury, but yeah, I don't see him touching the final three seats. No. I put he had a lot of personality. Like again, like we mentioned, lots of personality. But I said just kind of like how he was talking, I was like, he can either be naive and like fall in and get like manipulated, or because he's so good socially and messy, he could kind of be stirring the pot enough to like create diversions to keep you know, attention off of himself because he Mm -hmm. did say, because, you know, salons, there is a lot of gossipy stuff going on and being messy. So he may be able to manipulate information socially to like maneuver himself. So he's either going to be naive and doing too much or he may be able to find that balance. Hopefully he can find that balance. Right, right. Okay, let's move on to our next contestant. Oh, Um, that's my girl. Yes. (laughs) Go ahead, introduce her, Eric. Miss Lauren Hart. Okay, look. Come on, saw, team natural hair. Before I, love I hair. The, the hair is amazing, but for me, yes. it was the walk. That's what I highlighted. I said that nah, walk. I ain't even see her walk. <laughs> she just walking. She got that Halle Berry, Kerry Washington walk that just come in. It was just, it just, you like, she? you just bad. Like, yeah, that walk, <laughs> it just did something for me. Um, me hey, Lauren, can walk. you do something for me? Hey. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, just saying. Um, I can't do something for me. But. <laughs> 
<laughs> she gave me fierce, like relatable, because you know she's a single mom, she's an elementary teacher. She just that Southern Belle. That's what it gave me, Southern Belle. So she, I feel like she'll be really good socially, and she seems really determined. Like she's like, listen, I'm going through divert a divorce, a divorce. Mm-hmm. I have to put my life back together by myself. So I'm gonna do what needs to be needs to be done. My boy is expecting some money come back home. So I'm gonna get to the end. Trees, as a mother, I know you can you can attest to it. Like, listen, whatever these babies need, I'm gonna make happen. Um, you already know. So I, I she's a huge favorite of mine for sure. Yeah. And she also knows where she stands socially. Like in her intro, she talked about I know I'm gonna be underestimated. And I'm sure everyone says that. Mm-hmm. But I truly think she can like fly in that like somewhat under the radar no one really knows that lauren's gonna show out and Mm -hmm. she gets near the end and she starts to show out only thing i'd be scared of for her is uh i mean we'll see i just hate when people are always like all right first boot we're gonna go for uh or someone that doesn't help us compete all right even though which is can be the dumbest reason Mm -hmm. especially when they lie in season 43 Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my fear for Lauren. But I feel like if she gets a ground in the game, she could be solid. Mm-hmm. I agree. This right here, um, Miss uh, Lauren, is my winner pick from um, Jump. This is my sister. Um, we got different daddies and different mamas. Um, she from Texas, so that's my sister. I was mentioning y'all earlier that like somebody from Texas, we related. We gotta be related, like. Poor Arthur is not far from me. Um, anyways, I'm excited to um, see um, her go far. Um, the fact that she has two kids that she's going to be fighting for, um, I'm going to love. I hope they don't do the like scene. What do, I feel like my glasses keep on crooking. This they are. They are, right? I'm not tripping. Do I keep <laughs> moving on her? Yes. Anyway, yes. Stop. It's bothering me. But anyways, um, I really absolutely um, hope they don't just put the nail on the head of her being, I miss my kids. I miss my kids. We know you miss your kids, but you came <laughs> on the show for a million dollars. And I'm saying that as a mother. Uh, yes. Like, hmm. we get it. Don't, I, you know, it, of course she's going to have her moment where she's like upset. And the fact that they put that in her intro, we know they're going to use that in the show. Um, They're going to have some kind of scene with her talking about her kids and she's going to be missing them. She's going to be sad. Don't, don't, don't do that 37 times, please, Survivor. Please. Like, please showcase I hope she's a comp beast. You know, she's a teacher, so she knows how to deal with multiple people at the same time. So I hope that's going to be something that um, she takes from her everyday job of working with kids. And let's be real, a lot of these contestants on Survivor, there's just like kids in the playground. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think she's going to master it well. Um, Hopefully she does good in comps. Um, She also obviously has the um, brains um, to hopefully get through like puzzles and know different kind of things like that but she is my winner pick and i'm very excited to see um what she has in store for us can agree more mm-hmm. Eli, Eli, you- introduce our next one shoot <laughs> our next person is bruce bruce Perot. big bruce big Brucey, 46 big years B. old out of rhode island the smallest mm-hmm. state and shoot is it bad if I say he's like uh gives me Xavier vibes? No, it's a hundred percent. I don't I know. I said Xavier look alike wannabe. <laughs> but the I just think he's he's just gonna stay on the line, get an alliance, stick with the alliance, and uh I don't know if that has any winner equity in 2023. <laughs> but he's just look nice. at us, he's a, look he's at us dad. typecasting because he's black and bald. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen, I put he says he's a chameleon, so I guess that's kind of I always like people to say that because, like, that's that's cool. But I said he's a little boring from that tape, he was a little yes, boring, he's boring, but I feel like he could be good socially. He's also a parent, so hopefully, him and Lauren and other parents can connect on that because we got, I think we got a couple more parents um, out there. But I said he won't be perceived as a threat. I don't think people are gonna be like, oh, we gotta get Bruce out because he's just mm-hmm. this. I don't think he's giving threat. I think like he's gonna be like his Avery, like y'all mentioned, just there. He's giving <laughs> insurance one. agent. Like he's <laughs> giving what his job is. Like yeah. mm-hmm. if you have to pick like an insurance agent, that's what he looking sound like. <laughs> he's just gonna be boring. I think. Um, I think he's gonna be sweet. 
you know, he has kids. So Good socially. Uh, I love to yeah. see him on a power trip, though. I'm thinking about like, what was it? Carl from David versus Goliath, I think it was. Another bald black guy. Yes. But just like a random power trip where he's like, hey, I got my peoples. We're running the game. And the next thing you know, he's out just like that. <laughs> I think he's going very, very early. I'm talking about like first, second boot. Oh, <laughs> you taking him out, huh? <laughs> I don't want to take him out during Black History Month, but. I... <laughs> well, hey, it'll be March by the time. So it, won't it be will be. <laughs> um. But I don't know. For some I know he he going early. I think he could get his roots in the game. I think, think if so? he gets if he gets three people and those three people see him as like, hey, he's loyal, he's just gonna always vote with us, then cool. Some people or some people love the stable player where you know what they're gonna do. Mm, I hate yeah. to predict what Bruce is gonna do, but I feel like he's gonna be a predictable player where he, he knows who he's gonna vote and all that type of stuff. So right. for that reason, I could see him go and merge. I'm not sure about winner. But, oh no, he ain't winning. He ain't, yeah. no, nah, he not giving one of vibes at all. All right, who we got up next? Miss Maddie Pamilia. P- Pamilia. Hmm. What y'all think? She was she 26 from Huntington, Maryland. She lives in New York now, Brooklyn. I wonder if her and Claire know each other. I know y'all done ran each other. I thought that New was York. my first thought. <laughs> you know, you know uh these uh people at Paramount CBS, they don't know how to do nothing but stay in a circle. <laughs> Child. We already seen what what was that BB uh twenty where mm-hmm. they they found out they all knew each other damn near twenty one twenty one yeah twenty one yeah Pat or what was all in all in mm-hmm. <laughs> um the only thing I wrote for Maddie Maddie um was kind of boring for me oh I said that um, come about boring and I put she quit her job to go on survival <laughs> yeah she tripping I see no assistant. Yeah, I said, but she tripping. Um, and I don't know why her, uh, I wrote all this, but I don't know why her occupation says charity projects manager because she's actually unemployed. <laughs> I was so, so confused by that. Yeah, I should have put formally. Nah, you, you quit, sis. You unemployed, uh, sis. That is hilarious. <laughs> I didn't even pick up on that. Yeah, unemployed. But I definitely said that was my first thing. I said, I said, comes off boring. I said, but there could be a gamer inside of her. Mm-hmm. Like she's a girl's girl. Clearly, she Maybe. mentioned that. Girl boss. Yes. Um, so she wants to lay low and take control at the merge. We gonna see. Yeah. But I said, like I said, she's gonna be a flop or flat, but I'll talk about that later. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What All you right. say about it? Eli? I, I I mean, I agree. She, she was just like super serious. I think she could be a gamer based on how serious she was, but She's the ultimate, one of the ultimate question marks for me. She could either be make no connections and be gone when her fi- when her try first loses, hmm. or she could get some grounds and actually be manipulating people. So right, we don't see. We'll see. Love to see her. I hope she is mal- manipulative. But... She's a girl's girl, so everybody gonna be on her tail like they was with Cassidy. <laughs> You're talking to another girl. There must be a girls' alliance, guys. We must get the girls yep, out. Yeah, I'm not even <laughs> doing all that mess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, next up, we have Kane. He's 25. He's a law student. Mm. Um, he's from, uh, I don't even know where that's Sask- Listen, know. Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Sask- 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 <laughs> is that it? Where is uh, Canada. I don't know. Canadian. Um, oh, he's a Canadian. Okay, yes. that's why I was like, oh, uh, that's, that's not a state. What, what <laughs> is that? I'm like, now I know, I know all the states. That's why I zoomed in and zoomed right back she out. She said, wait, we didn't cover <laughs> that state. I said, hold up. We got 51 and I ain't know. Um, I forgot they let uh, um, people from Canadians. Canada come on. Yeah. Um, but my only comment about him is he's going to be very annoying. Oh. He's going to be a, a, a... Let me not say that. He's going to be very annoying. Um, let me say that twice. Let me say that three times. I think he's going to be very annoying. He's going to be full of himself. Um, he, uh, and for some odd reason, I think he's gonna be really good at comps, which is gonna suck mm. because he's gonna stick around, and I think he's gonna have a couple of immunity challenges that he's gonna win, and we're gonna have to deal with him, and we're gonna be like, oh my god, him winning better. is gonna cause one of our faves to go home. I hope yep, not. Yep, yep. I hope. I not. think him winning gonna cause like three of our faves to go home. <laughs> Man, this dude, I just don't see the dog in him. Just simply from his video. <laughs> I, he, he just doesn't have it. I don't know what it is. Just not it's my just cousin. Just you don't like him. Not him. 
I yeah, he said, ain't my I said he gonna be he gonna be dry. I said, but he he have a little goofy side, so maybe that'll help. And then I said he's gonna be a non-factor or a dark horse that like surprises. But then after he said that he wasn't here for the million dollars, I said, nope, scratch all that. He's crazy. Goodbye. And he's gonna be doing the most and he's gonna be up and out of here. But will right. he donate the million dollars if he doesn't care about no. the million dollars? Will no. he donate it like old dude? He said, no. I don't need the money. I'm just here to be the sole survivor. No. Okay, that comes with the check. So, <laughs> no. I mean, he's a law student, so he might have uh, money coming. He's talking about, oh, I got different ways to make me. Well, Kane, go make them. I know. Go make a million dollars in uh, why are 20, you here? 20 whatever days. Well, go be legally blind somewhere else. Why are you here? <laughs> Period. Because mm. when you hear the win the money, like, listen, you taking money, other so. opportunities from everybody else. Like, bye, go. And it's not right. to say that we, we, we've had people who are doctors, lawyers, engineers, everything play this game. And it's like, we get, it, even though you have a prosperous career, if you still here to win this money, that's the goal. It don't matter. Like, the goal and should look, be the money. And these people really act like, like, I don't care what kind of job you have. It might be successful unless you, like, celebrity, you in the NBA. You ain't doing nothing where you go and uh, be on the island for 25 days and get a check for a million dollars. I don't mm-hmm. care how many surgeries you're doing. You're not getting a million dollars in 20 some days unless you're That's doing some a- Lexmark <laughs> shady stuff. What you been <laughs> doing, King? I was just getting ready to say, like, unless you just come from old money or something like, or like you said, Listen. super celebrity, super, super celebrity, anybody can use a little million dollars. Mm-hmm. So, Listen, I can lose a lot of million dollars. I can use a lot of them. A lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And moving on, next person, let me just say she is my winner pick, mm-hmm. Franny Morris. Fran, Fran? I liked her. She's 23 years old. She's probably too young. Is she going to win? Probably not. I, I she loved old. her vibes. I oh. love, I know, I didn't realize she was 23, but I loved her vibes. She just seemed bubbly. She just seemed like she could connect Did you do with that? people. Do oh, I go ahead. Change go ahead. Slides. Sorry, audio listeners. But <laughs> um, I don't know. She just had excellent vibes. I think she could find her footing in this game. She could make it to the merge. And from there, I think she has the dog in her to actually make the dog and actually I- cut people. I agree, I Eli. I won. I didn't know she was twenty three. I thought she was forty six. Um, I did too. I thought she was. <laughs> we were talking about her in the group chat. I thought she was cool for it too. I ain't gonna even hold you, friend. But friend, friend. I thought she was grandma, friend. Not grandma. I thought she was an auntie. G- Franny. I thought she was granny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love. But see, here's the thing. Like I said, she's quirky and nerdy. Her nerdy is different from Matt's nerdy. Like. She ha- she's a competent nerdy. Like, she's a socially good nerdy type. I feel like she'll be able to blend in. I said she's going to be a dark horse. I feel like she'll be a dark horse in this, in this game. Nobody's going to pay attention to her. She may lay low, and then she's going to just hit the ground running, like you mentioned. And I think she's going to be a potential strategic mastermind. I think she's going to be pulling some strings. So I'm excited to see her. I liked her vibes, too, low-key. I put on my notes for her. I said she's goofy, and she may annoy the women. But mm. for some odd reason, I think she's gonna get um in with the men. Mm. Um, she's actually on my like watch list. Um, Fran Fran, sis girl. Uh, I'm gonna add her to my list. I'm I'm gonna watch her. That's I don't a good know one. where she's gonna be, but I, she's to me, she's definitely giving merge for sure. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's and a good point. Great personality, just like mm-hmm. excellent. And yep. you mentioned like how you feel like she was gonna be good with the the guys and the girls. I feel like I can see the girls hating on her too. <laughs> Look, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we Next got up. brother Carson, the one who's been all up and down our TL since they announced the cast. This man, I haven't not seen him. Let up. He didn't run his mouth. Favorite. He didn't put a link up with merch with his name and stuff on it. He didn't been going back and forth with nah, people hate. He, 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 he a Twitter darling. He a Reddit darling. He a Instagram darling. He YouTube. A YouTube darling. Every, Everybody love. He's like on. he's a survivor heart dog right now. Okay, us uh, uh swaggy C. All at the tender <laughs> age of twenty, so he's the youngest. Um, that we have on this cast, and I honestly, I said he's he he's oh he's from NASA, super. I mean, dude, <laughs> not from, from NASA. NASA. He he's works from, from NASA. That's how you know he's gonna kill you. I say, he, I say he's from he's NASA. That's was from. Ain't from Georgia, <laughs> down there in Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. Come on, hey, 
Um, <laughs> another engineer. I said he he may come off too smart. I, he's so young. He's giving me like what was his name from last Christian. season? Oh, Christian. No, but uh, oh, I Sammy. Love Christian. Christian Sammy. Was Sammy was young, smart too, but Sammy his age was show in certain things that he said and did and how he behaved. So Sammy want- gave out smart to you. Sammy was smart. He like with the puzzle. He was out smart, for- but he didn't give off smart to me. No, I said he gave off his age with oh, the stuff that he okay, was saying. Okay, okay. And I'm just saying, because he- if I would have guessed, I'd be like, this boy got a box of rocks up there. <laughs> Which is what he wanted to portray. But mm-hmm, like his age job. was show with how he, he did lied a good job. or couldn't <laughs> lie. Rather. And the gritty, no one knows what the gritty is. No one no. over 23. <laughs> So he did that and I was like, what are you doing? So that was my only real critique was like, I feel like he would he be able to blend in? Like, I know he's smart. He's young. I know he's knowledgeable of the game. He's super energetic. Like, I love his energy. Um, He wants to lay low and be a puppet master later. But I'm like, will he be able to blend in because of his age? And will that show and hinder him? Mm -hmm. Carson um, is um, my pick. Um, to go into the final three as well or into the deep finals. Um, I think he's smart. I think he's going to be very strategic. Um, I, I mean, you can just look at him and you know that he has a lot of intelligence upstairs. So there's no hiding that. Um, it's just something about people with glasses that give out, you know, smarts. <laughs> okay, but did you <laughs> see in his clip when he didn't have the glasses? I was like, hold on, you, you, he actually pretty fit too. He's not just a little nerdy. Like, listen, oh, he I can got, oh, he got a little muscle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, I didn't even notice. <laughs> so, um, so um, I'm I'm excited to see Carson play. Carson is um, definitely one of my picks. Yeah. Um, and uh, I like him. He he I seemed likable to me. Yeah. Um, in his uh, his little interview. So I hope he knows how to like skate the middle line, not be too much, but not be too little. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. He seems super likable. I understand. I, I see why Twitter and everyone and their moms loves him. Yeah. And my main question is kind of just, can you be, what's the age? Is there a certain age you have to be to connect enough? As Eric was saying, mm. he's 20. And it's not like he's far and away the youngest. Uh, Franny, who we just talked about, was 23. So it's not like she's too much older. But will he be able to connect with some of the older people? Will yeah. he be able to make those connections in manipulate them as he wants to as such a young person right we'll see i mean if someone's gonna do it it's got to be a nasa uh engineer but maybe he grew up with his granny maybe <laughs> if he did then he gonna he be able to but but yeah maybe i would say how you, how you know he didn't grow up with his granny i didn't went seeing his instagram seeing his family all this stuff we know what if he's about it what if his what if he don't have no pictures on his Instagram because his granny like I don't want to be on oh, that on, it. on that internet <laughs> on it. cracking up. <laughs> I, I think he may be able to connect too with like with that engineering background. Maybe if conversation come up with some of those older engineers, maybe he could like kind of branch out. Engineers. Yeah. Did he say he was gonna hide it though? I forget. He did, but again, his age, that mouth gets to moving. <laughs> Well, when somebody mentions it, I bet, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going <laughs> to give out some kind of information. He's going to say something that only an engineer, you know, you being in that field would know of. And mm-hmm. I think that's what's going to get him The control. nerd gonna, is going to, that switch is going, because they can't help yep, it. Yep, my yep, my yep. tech friends, my nerd, nerd friend, they can't help it. They're going to say, <laughs> it's going to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, who is uh, next girl? Next Sarah, up. I, she just didn't. Mm-mm. Hold what, on. What, what, Sarah was built. She was. She, she was. So that was my Sarah? first note. <laughs> Sarah Wade, twenty-seven, from Roster, Minnesota. No she relation to sh- Dwayne Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, Illinois, and management consultant. What I have for Miss Sarah? Look, I can't even find her on my page. She was so boring. Shoot, um, I'll start. Uh, she got muscles. I saw that. I peeked them straight away. She, she in my mind, she was built. Uh, <clears> she, she comes was. from a. Mm-hmm. She from she comes from a male dominated industry. Mm-hmm. That was kind of her main thing, uh, where mm-hmm. she was able to get her footing in a male dominated industry. Shout out to her for that. And mm-hmm. I don't know, she was boring, but for some reason, in her minute long video, like the vibe as she was talking was giving me like I could maybe see her winning, but I don't okay. know. Um, Ela, I 100% agree with that. Um, I can see her winning. She wasn't that boring to me. Really? And and you know what? I honestly, I really think uh, I 
kind of draw some kind of comparison to her because I think um, she's been in that male um, dominated um, field. And I've been around a lot of males in my life and, you know, growing up. And so I wonder if I resonated with her with that to where. Um, mm-hmm. That got you blinded, huh? Maybe, possibly. I think Sarah's going to do good. I think she's going to be a comp beast. Um, the only thing I feel like might be a little shaky with her, I think, is getting in with the girls. And this is where I hope Sarah and Franny do a little bond because I think those are going to be the two at odds in the girls alliance if there is a girls alliance. Um, so I'm kind of mm. hoping they team up together, but I'm gonna call it. I think Sarah is going to be a comp beast. She she may or be great. like a Tory. She may be like Tory from mm. 42. Really good at them. Comp- you don't think she like black people? Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> I just said like the cops because Tori was good oh. at cops. But she had the shortest amount of analysis for me. I put nothing is standing out, very generic. That's what I, I got. That's, that's the winner sometimes. She, that's I don't like know what it from, is. It's, uh, it's, some, it's something about her that I like. So nothing I'm with Sarah. From the moment she came on the screen, nothing jumped out. I was like, give me it's, something. I, it's funny. I had very little notes about her. Just like... Uh, but for some reason, at the yeah. end, I wrote talking yep. like a winner. Yeah, y'all Eli, mentioned same. her. Same. Y'all uh, got me on the board. She may be a comp because I'm now looking at her. I can see Tori. Watch. Give mm-hmm. her, if you put blonde hair on her, now I'm seeing Tori. If we just put a little blonde hair on her. That's just racist. Tori. Why are you, why are you saying they look alike? I just said she puts give her some blonde hair. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> just give her some blonde hair. <laughs> Man, no, no, not, on the cool though, she do kind of look like Tori, like for real. In the face. I, I, I agree, <laughs> I agree. But go ahead, Ela. But moving on up next, uh, we have Matt, Matt G, our second Matt, I believe. Uh, and mm-hmm. he is a barbershop owner out of mm-hmm. Ohio, 43 years old. Uh, he's a gay barber, and mm-hmm. I don't know, he, it, I like him. Most, he's the most question mark for me really? I, I i put um boring next <laughs> really then i'm probably in the middle i'm probably in the middle because like i don't know like he has the look of a good survivor player i feel like he can be a really good survivor it's, it's player. the beard it's the beard maybe hmm. i think he's, he looks- he's gotta have a clean beard it's his even- his cast photo looks so much different than he did in this video like he don't look like this in the video um, he look a little he look a little weird right here. Um and I would have like, oh, you going home very early. Um, <laughs> but I thought his he has a very enjoyable personality. I say I feel like he'll be good socially because he's a barbershop owner. We know how barbers we see so many different people. I say we like I'm a barber. <laughs> <laughs> they see a lot of different people. And so I feel like he'll be able to garner people's trust. And I feel like I did say he'll be like a swing vote or person that people just enjoy to trust. Like he may not be a main factor, but they'll be like, oh, he, you know, we want to include him in our plans, but he won't be mm-hmm. necessarily deciding stuff. And he'll be an unintentional swing vote. It's giving Gabler because Gabler was smiling just like that in his video, mm-hmm. in his casting photo. And that's what Gabler was, a swing vote almost every single time. Yeah. It's like, I can see him being a manipulator. I can see him being both a hero and a villain. I can see him being, I can see him being Ricard or I can see him Mm. being first boot medevac. I'm still mad at Ricard. I'm still mad. You see me say, "Mm." Um, (laughs) I I heard his name. My face just be like, "Mm." (laughs) me too. Uh, But Matt, he gives it all. Like, I have no clue. He's going to be, he's my ultimate just wild card. I have no clue what he's going to do. I yeah. hope I hope he's entertaining. I hope he is at least fun to watch, which I hope everyone is. But if you gave, if yeah, if, <laughs> if I had a hundred dollars on the line, I would not put my money anywhere no. near him to do anything because I have no clue. No, no, Mm-mm. I can see that that wild card for sure. No, I wouldn't even put a hundred dollars in the same room with him. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. But anyways, uh, next up we got Helen. Um, she and her intro package mentioned Erica, and so she automatically <laughs> went a straight zero no for me. <laughs> Screaming. It's it still baffles me that like that girl won. Like, what? Um yeah. hey, she smashed that's all, that's all I'm gonna say. That's yeah. the only reason why she won. Yeah. Cause she was going yeah. on. Was. Um, I said back she likes 
that's all I could say about Helen. Was like she likes Erica, so she'll probably try to play like her, um, which I'm not really sure what that means because we didn't get to see Erica really, really play. We didn't see her play. <laughs> so I'm and not you really know sure what's crazy? What Erica could have played a like crazy game, but they didn't put it in the edit. So oh, that's what you think Karen Eleven's gonna be like. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what's gonna be like oh, <laughs> that. And I said she's not gonna be a threat. Ain't nobody gonna look at Helen like, oh, we gotta nah. get her out. So she she's cute skate. though. She's cute. I she's think gonna she's going to be similar to Lauren in some ways. Lauren, uh, uh, Harp. Harp. Mm -hmm. where in terms of, I feel like they both see themselves as being underestimated type of thing. Mm, they both have that, that I, You know what? I, I would like for them to pair up, actually. Me too. I would like mm -hmm. that. Good little Erica and whatever the uh, older lady no. name was. No, you just called it. You just called it. it no, it's written in stone. That. It's written in stone. No. But that was that was one uh uh what do you, what do you call something that's dead weight? What? It's like two yeah. dead weights an together. Anchor? Yes, two it anchors? was an anchor one and anchor two. It was Erica and oh, I can't even remember Heather, the other girl. Oh, Heather. 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 Yeah, the anchor over here, Heather, anchor over here, uh Erica. <laughs> you said they were both dead weight, yeah. To me. <laughs> they both were the one But a price. But, but hey, let me be quiet because uh, somebody got more than a, a little extra money in their bank account than me. <laughs> <laughs> let me mind my business. Hey, I'm rooting for Helen. I mean, I can see her showing out. We'll see, though. I ain't mad at her. I'm not rooting against her, but I'm not rooting for her either. Me mm -hmm. She's kind of like Pretty a middle for get me. a purple edit. I, I don't know if y'all yeah. know what that is now. Yeah, Kelly. But, uh -huh. yeah. You might get Purple Kelly. I don't know. She has the pizzazz to run the game and be leading the narrative, so she could be another. She ain't character. running no game. She ain't running nothing. Um. Next up, we got Brandon. Um. He's thirty. He's a security specialist. Um. He he played in the NFL. I can't remember what football team. Um. But he's cute. The Seahawks. I thought so. Yeah, he's. I thought Eli would remember. Um, he's cute. Um, I I think he's gonna get a lot of camera time because he's cute. Um, I don't know. He's uh, honestly, he, uh, he's in the middle for me as well. I'm sorry, I know it's Black History Month, but he he's in the, he's in the middle for me. Look, not the the blacks ain't giving. I don't know. I might be rude for the wife this year. I don't know. No, because there's more of them. That's I don't favorite. know. What y'all think um, about Brandon? I said physical threat, clearly. That's yeah. not good. He can't hide that. He can't <laughs> try to misconstrue that. Yeah, he can't, he can't hide them muscles. He can't hide them muscles. I said um, he's going to need an alliance. Um, and he's going to be kept for the strength. So he's not going to pre-merge because they're going to want him for the strength of the tribe. Um, but he will need an alliance. And I think his personality may save him because he does seem like he can be. He does have, it looks like yeah. he has a really sweet personality. Yeah, so I think that'll take him far. He seems a lot more like a chameleon than Bruce does. I'm sorry. Yes. 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 That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the perfect definition. I like that. Um, yeah, because yeah, Bruce Brandon. going home early like Tree said. <laughs> I feel like Brandon, he's yeah, lived Yeah, I think a, Bruce, Bruce going. He's lived a... I mean, he's done a lot in his life. Yeah. Life. Like, in his 30 years of living from football to pilot to gosh. Yeah, he done, oh, yeah, I forgot he said he was a pilot. Mm -hmm. Security mm -hmm. guard. That's a specialist now. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just think that he can connect with a lot of people. Hopefully, he just can, quote, unquote, underplay. Or mm -hmm. should just come out and be seen as a physical threat. Make it through merge and try to dominate come post-merge. He needs to do get it. an idol or something. Well, clearly, people don't care about you being a physical because if Hercules Jonathan can sit here and do what he did the whole entire <laughs> season and nobody got him out, hopefully that's the, the same position that he in and he actually gets in the end because mm -hmm. I would like to see him at the end. Mm -hmm. A likable, big, strong person, physical threat that's likable. Emphasis on likable. Okay. Shout out you know what? I like Brandon. I'm I'm putting Brandon back on my list. Y'all don't talk me into it. <laughs> I like Brandon. I mean, I liked yeah. him from the jump, but for some reason, he was giving me kind of. Uh, but y'all know how my attention span is. I pay attention to the. He's gonna do better than that uh, cowboy did. Seconds. He's gonna do better than that Dallas cowboy did. Oh uh, boo! boo Danny, Brennan. okay, oh, Danny. Danny, Danny did. I don't hey, know what Danny, Danny did on Survivor. Though. He Danny did get a check, though. but he did not get a Survivor check. And for sure, you know, but he did get a check. <laughs> All right, we got our last yep. three contestants. Uh, Speaking next, of Danny. <laughs> We got a Danny, Danny Massa. We got Danny, we got Massa up to deck. 
<laughs> I would. He probably hate me because I'd be like, "So, Massa, you want to send me home, Massa? Oh you gonna vote me out?" And how crazy is that? His last name, Massa. He a firefighter. I feel like that correlates <laughs> as a job. Massa, he should have been yeah. a cop. I would definitely guilt trip him. Oh, so you're because your last name is Massa. You gonna just you gonna vote a black person out? <laughs> you, you terrible. <laughs> okay, Massa. No. But yeah, Danny, um, he seems like a classic New Yorker, a New York yeah. bro. Uh, if you told me to describe a 30-year-old New Yorker that's a firefighter, it's him right here on mm-hmm. my screen. So yes. with the I one shoulder tattooed, half asleep, like <laughs> come on. Tank top. Uh, I said standard bro like character. I said, yeah. but he probably has more depth. I feel like with you know, he's talking mm-hmm. about his family stuff. So I we said he see. may have a little more depth. Um, but he's just that standard, you know bro man and then i said he'll probably be kept around for tribe strength as well for whatever tribe he on because mm. standard bro like man like him they tend to stay bro like man <laughs> <laughs> no i completely agree i had the same notes he got the dog stamp of approval i think he could be a dog in this game i think he could i think he's gonna at least attempt to run things will yeah, he, will be, he be our face we'll see but I kind of want to see him cook. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to see him to try to go crazy. We'll see. I think he could be entertaining. I think he could go hard. And I he guess my, yeah, I think he could surprise us. Or he could be gone early. But Which just like I, everyone can. I think he's, he's going to do merge. Um, I yeah. think exactly growing out, I think it's going to get him far. Um, I feel like he might be the character this season. Where we're he's put on the screen for us to hate him, but we end up liking him. Right. Mm. Um, that's what I'm that. thinking. Yeah. Cause that's right why I now, say he got more depth to him. Maybe. Cause looking at him, I'm just like mm, pass. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because I think, um, I, I think he's a person for the girls to target. If enough women make it to the merge, I think yeah. it, he's gonna be one of the clear, hey, we need to break up the bros. Cause you already know, I feel like he's a as we've been talking about, he's a bro man. He's gonna mm-hmm. bro down all the way, and maybe yeah. make slight connection to the women. But. Yeah, and I think to, like I like we said, it's easy for Survivor to say like if you big and strong, you're more than likely gonna make to merge. Um, that's just how it's always seen. Unless you got a Sari Fields who can get out somebody like Joe, who she did in you know fans versus favorite. His big, she like he just big for nothing. We need to get him out the game, basically. <laughs> Not big for nothing. I'm cracking up. And got him taken out the game. But that's probably the only time I've seen somebody with muscles that can be really huge and go pre-merge, in my opinion. So, But I think he'll last. Okay. Um, next up, we have um, Carolyn Wigger. Wigger? Wigger? I don't know. I'm calling it Wigger. I don't mm. know how you said her last name. She was a, <laughs> She was what? How many letters from being something? That, her last mm. name being something? Being <laughs> <And> Wigger. <laughs> Weiger, it might be pronounced Weiger, Wigger. I'm going with Wigger. We'll say Weiger. We'll say I would Weiger say my name is Weiger. Weiger. I want it to Weiger. be completely. That's why I, I was reading this. He said, "Oh, she gonna pronounce it like Niger, Weiger." I like probably. <laughs> uh, but she's 35. Um, of course she she has a very interesting story. Um, she was a recovering um uh from drug. Did she say what? I think alcohol. Hero. Was it alcohol? Never mind. Oh, I can't you remember. putting on Heron? She was no, on Heron? No. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Not Heron. Eli allegedly. didn't put this woman on Heron, y'all. No, I didn't. Um, oh, my apologies. My apologies. She, she is a recovering what? addict. That's all I She was a recovering addict. And um, now in the future, or I mean in the present, she helps other people deal with their addictions. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm going to feel. Listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say. Um, just don't hit the nail on the head. We get it. Yeah. You came over something um that's very, very tough. And that's gonna be something that's gonna be an everyday struggle. Let's talk about it one time and let's move on. Don't bring it up every single time. Okay. <laughs> and let's not necessarily even her production. All of them, yes. Production. <laughs> and uh, production is gonna try to oh, production does too much. Like, quit trying to paint the sob story so much. Like let I, us like let the sob story like develop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't just be like every episode, oh, let's come back and talk about this. <laughs> let's come back and talk about this. Like, let these people play the game and then we learn, you know, their story. Um, I Why really, they're really doing hope... what they're doing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I really hope for some reason I want her to be a villain. I, I want like her, her to be like, like, like evil in her little, <laughs> but 
But yeah. a good evil, I don't want her to be like a. She looked like Kirst, Kirsty. You know, they used to do the Weight Watcher, Kirsty, Kirsty, what's her name? Christy Christy, I think she passed away, didn't she? Christy, Christy Allen. Allen. Yes, rest in mm-hmm. peace, Christy Allen. She you... gives, she reminds me of Christy Allen. Is that a wig on her head, Treat? I've been wanting to ask. It looked like that's a wig on her head, but. Uh huh. Yeah, it looked like it's just sitting so. too high. It's sitting up too high. Nah, I think that's hers. Okay. I think she just gets, she just ain't enough for heat. Oh, okay. But my real analysis, outside of her looking like Christy Allen, Kirstie Allen, um, I said she's quirky. She got lots of energy. Maybe too much, because she was kind of coming on a little strong. Um, so hopefully she can dial that back a little bit. I said, but I feel like she's going to be outspoken. So she's going to say what needs to be said. She's not going to care. That's um, where the villain comes up. in. Mm-hmm. And then I said she's going to do whatever it takes. So I feel like she's going to be a comp. She can be a comp person, too. I also I'm- think she could really connect with her tribe mates. I yes. think she can yes. Yes. Like, make them deep connections where she can drive the game a little bit. I can definitely see her as a bit of a driver. Mm-hmm. She got to know when to take the foot off the gas. Mm-hmm. I, I want her to do that and be very manipulative. I be one villain every I want villain so bad. Because <laughs> as a drug counselor, a lot of drug counseling happens in group therapy like group settings mm. so her ability to you know maneuver through that and how she helps her clients i feel like she can take aspects of that to maneuver the group the way she needed to to move mm. so right 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 i'm right. a fan of her i like her she's high mm. up on my list yeah Me too. definitely rooting for her like i'd love to see her in my top list go too. out dominate will she i don't know but she has the vibes yeah mm-hmm. and hey hopefully she has fun and brings fun chaos excitement to the game that's what Absolutely. I want to see her. I want to see her do some fun chaos. That's, yeah. that's the definition. Um, but last but not least, we have John Wilder. Let me and just this, this is Dr. Fee. Another Josh. Dr. Josh. Another Dr. Josh. Dr. Josh. Let's um, not disappoint us. Yes. Um, I like him, but... <laughs> um, I think he's gonna. I feel like he's gonna. Um, what's the word I want to say? Um, I think he's gonna like project his smarts too much, and I think mm. he's gonna come on very, very strong, and it's gonna annoy people. I have a mm. feeling that he's one of those people that carries himself like I'm better than everybody else. That's kind of vibe I get from him. Really, I. Think I- so. I didn't get that. I could see it because, you know, he's a doctor or whatever. But I think because he's been through, he's truly a survivor. Like, he has survived cancer. He survived kidney disease. He survived, like, Please, don't be paying attention because I ain't know none of that. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> okay, like, I feel like Josh. that will, I feel like that's, that's the dope. humility aspect of it. So, that's why I feel like mm. I don't think he'll be, like, high and mighty. Because when dope. you survive things like that, that's just, you You have a different view on life in general. Oh, for sure. Um, and so mm-hmm. I said that he'd be an unexpected threat, like mentally and socially, because I just feel like um, he will be able to. He's affable, I, I think. And so I think he'll be able to connect with people socially and just given his story. I feel like that'll touch people because you're going to talk about it. And so I think that'll really <laughs> resonate with a lot of people socially. Um, but I said he needs to get an alliance. He's going to need to because I think that mental th- I do think that trees his mental ability capacity is going to be showing and then he going to need somebody to protect. He going to need a shield mm-hmm. of people around him um, mm-hmm. and behind him. Otherwise he's going to kind of be like, if we're in that split situation, kind of like James is like, ah, now you split up from your main people. It's time to get you out type deal. Um, so I think he's going to need a solid alliance to make it far. Um, but I think, you know, he's already been a survivor. So okay. if you don't win brother Josh, Dr. Josh, you survived that life. Shout out to him. No, right. is it bad if it is it bad if I say he gives me the same vibes as that dude that Natalie Dwight. was? Oh. oh, I was gonna say the the dude that Natalie was uh beefing with on y'all know Natalie Jack and Natalie. Yes. Oh, no, you talking about Jer- uh, one. Was it Jeremiah yes. or something? Jer- like uh, no, his name was uh, ah. It started with a J. Uh, Whatever his name is, uh, I don't show? know why. Jeremy, Jeremy, that, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yep. I don't know why, and apologies if this is me gushing compared to black gay men. <laughs> I think Jeremy was. Uh, we don't but, know. Um, or just two black men, um, but with J names. But for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> he gave me that vibe. I hope he does great. Um, I can see him beefing. I can see him being in a bit of drama, which. He's yeah. one to watch for me. Mm-hmm. 
he's going to be like Dwight, like I said, from last season. Like, Dwight was super smart. Dwight knew the game. Um, but Dwight just kind of got the short end of the stick mm-hmm. when it came to how the votes ran down. So I can see that happening to him. Like, mm-hmm. his his torch getting snuffed out too early. And right. him not being able to prosper. Right. And he also said he was going to lie about his profession, which it'll be interesting oh, okay. if he can do that. I'm um, calling him Dr. Feet the whole season. I hope you have <laughs> Dr. Foot. He's the Dr. Dr. Feet. Mm-hmm. Dr. Feet. So. Dr. Feet. Um, but yeah. next up, I'll oh, go ahead. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's the, everybody on the, the cast. cast. Uh-huh. But um, I have um how the, we already got information on how the tribes are broken up. Um, mm-hmm. so I'm I have um everybody's names and the name of their tribes. The first tribe is Soka Tribe. And that consists of Claire, Franny, Heidi, Danny, Josh, and Matt. So I just want y'all to pick who y'all think will be the first boot out the um tribe. I um, need it to be Heidi. I'm it's going to be Heidi. Queen. It's I'm Heidi. sorry, Queen. I told you. First yeah. boot out of her yeah. tribe. Whatever yeah. I tribe. <laughs> you know what? Now that the, now that it's broken up, Heidi, for sure. <laughs> I for really sure. hope it's not a Franny versus Claire situation, though. Ooh. I would be very sad if those two were going at each other. Early on, because those yeah. are pretty much two of my faves. But yeah, that's I do like Franny and Claire. It. And no, you know, Matt we did say we wanted Matt them to link up. Though. Oh wait, I wanted her to link up with um. What's no? I want them to link up. She ain't gonna get to link up because she going home. Um, <laughs> no, I'm talking about Heidi and Claire. Oh yeah, Heidi. Hi, Ellen. I mean, no. uh, I mean, um, Ellen Claire and, and Franny. I want to okay. link up. They in and the same tribe. Heidi, Heidi going home. Yeah. No, I want them to have each other back, like both. Okay. Got you, got you. Yeah. Me too, me too. Yeah, I think they'll have more in common anyway. Yeah. Also, I'm calling that tribe Sokka from you know Avatar Last Airbender. Avatar. How did I pronounce it? Soka. Soka. That's probably what it is, but I don't want to call it Sokka just yeah. because. Okay. Sokka, 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 Sokka. Sokka. Oh, um, we gotta go go back. We gotta do our flop, flat, or fly. We ain't gotta do that. Oh, you see how she do? Wait, me? you want to do mm. everybody like that or just the tribe? Why are we doing it in we, the tribe? We, should we just do like a quick hitter? Just like. Yeah, it's just a little quick. You ain't got no explanation. Okay, Claire, for me, I feel like it's going to be a flat. Franny, fly. Heidi, flop. Danny, flat. Um, Josh, flat. And uh, Matt, flop. I'll go next. Danny's going to fly. Uh, Franny's going to fly. Uh, Josh is, Josh is going to flop. Matt's going to be flat. Heidi's going to flop. I hope. And Claire's, Claire's going to fly. I got three flyers in here. Just okay. my tribe. Okay, I'm just gonna go from left to right. Um, fly, fly, flop, flop, <laughs> uh, flat, flat. Okay, that's where I'm going. Cool. Okay, that works. Let's see. Me. Next up is the Tika tribe, and we have Carolyn, Helen, Sarah, Bruce, Carson, and Yam Yam. Oh, I don't um, know. Bruce going home. <laughs> oh, Bruce, hands down. Hey, don't brother man Ooh. look like he be Harry Potter? Like if yes, they did another is. version of Harry Potter. Um, he tweeted Carson. about that. He tweeted did? about that. Yeah. Uh, that he's yeah. looking Harry Potter. Low key keeping up with Carson Twitter. She's just acting like I don't knows. even know his Twitter. She knows. That's funny. She knows. She's a I fan. I swear, I have not seen his Twitter yet, but I'm gonna follow him because I am a fan of Carson. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. Bruce, I don't see a way Bruce survives if they lose. Hold up, I don't see a way. Bruce I can see Helen, Helen might could go home. I don't know because <laughs> they may be like, Oh, we got to keep the tribe. Well, no, nah, Bruce going home. I just, I know, they, I just know they better not get rid of my man's yam yam. And anybody, case, honestly, anybody can go from this group. I just Keep my man Yam Yam safe and Carson. Mm-hmm. And my two I'm rooting for out of this tribe. Mm-hmm. I like the girl at the top. Who is it? Oh, that's Sarah. See, look, I don't even know who she was. <laughs> she, yeah, that's she. I think she, she that or her different. Yeah. Man, when See, I was making yeah. these slides, I was looking like, who the hell is this? <laughs> I was going back to my notes. I I swear on everything. I had to go to the article. Y'all, that, that's um, Miss to, Tori to that y'all said. Y'all said she like Tori. Tori. Yeah. I ain't say that, but. You see her. She did like Tori. she don't look like Tori in that picture, but the she other don't. one she did. <laughs> I don't know who she looked like. <laughs> I don't know who that woman is. What Kiki say? I don't know who that woman is. She could be <laughs> walking down the street. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know who she is. Mm-mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, going down this Go list, ahead. I say Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn, my fly. Helen, flat. Sarah, 
Flat, I wish he would fly, though. Bruce, flop, because I don't see a way he survives <laughs> this. Carson might flop. And Yam Yam, you know what? I'll say, yeah, uh, Carson's going to flop, and Yam Yam is going to uh, flop. Okay, I say Carolyn is going to fly, Helen's going to be flat, Sarah is going to flop or be flat, Bruce, flop, 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 Carson, I think Carson will fly, I think he'll start off flat and then he'll fly, and then Yamil, I mean Yam Yam, I think he'll be flat, he'll start off high flying, then he'll fall flat. Mm. Um, I'm going um, fly, flat, fly, flop. Fly flat. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our last tribe is Rata Ta 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 Ta. Rata Ta Ta. Yeah, I know I got that Rata Ta Ta. Rata Rata Ratu. Ratu. Oh no, that Ratatouille. Okay, we're gonna call it Ratatouille. <laughs> um, but that consists the Brandon, Kane, Matthew, Jamie, Lynn, uh, Lauren, and Maddie. Um, I really, really hope Kane go first. Mm, yeah. I'm tired. I'm already tired of looking at him. <laughs> he already annoying me. Watch me end up like liking him. But ugh, Kane gotta go. Kane definitely gotta go. I think he should be the first. If not him, I can see who else is in Jamie here? Lynn. I'm sorry, Miss Yogi. Oh yeah, she Ms. can go. Yogi there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot who she was. I was looking at her like who is. <laughs> So yeah, either her or Kane. I can see I I could low key see Maddie being disliked by this group of uh at least women in here. I don't know. I know we were. Well, she said she's a girl's girl, so maybe not. You're right. She she was a serious girl boss. Maddie. Maddie. Yeah. Uh bottom right. Bottom right. Yeah. So we'll see. What was you gonna say? You feel like she was gonna do what, Eli? Oh, I already forgot. I don't know. I feel like the fact that she was so serious and you have Lauren and Jamie Lynn there, uh, with their, kinda... I feel like they're both like more bubbly. Oh, we're going to yada yada talk to everyone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like there could be some off vibes. And I feel like always a person that wants to make the Women's Alliance gets thrown under the bus by the other women. I hope yeah. that doesn't happen. But, but and that's why I feel like Kane may be the one going home because like you got Lauren who who could be with the girls, you know, the girls can form something. And then you got uh who is it was his name? Matt up there who's a dad. So him and Lauren can probably connect something. So that'll be mm-hmm. somebody in her pocket. And then you got Mr. Brandon up there who's gonna be good socially and like kind of fitting in. And you got just Kane who's socially awkward, he dry. Um yeah, he going home. Mm-hmm. I think it's yeah. I'm gonna go. Kane <laughs> is gonna go home first, which I hope you do. Um, but honestly, I think this tribe wins. Um, first, um, immunity is my guess. I can um, see that. But when they do do get to their first um tribal, if camp, they do, oh, true. If um, but if they do um get there, I have a feeling the girls are gonna link up. So I feel like they're gonna have each other's back. And then I feel like Lauren is going to have that connection with Brandon because uh, my brother, my sister, and therefore they're going to get rid of either. It's going to be either Kane or Matt is up, but Matt's going to be cool with Brandon. Therefore, I did the analysis and Kane can pack his bags and head right <laughs> on back. To that's crazy. Trees has a script. That's the no, script. for real. Because that's what I saw, too. I was like, okay, she got a black man that, right there. Cool. In that exact order. Yep. <laughs> she got a black man right there. Ooh, got another parent. Ooh, right there. Yep. Like, yep. girls. Yep. 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 He's an odd man out, unfortunately. He's an odd man out. He got to go. I hope he didn't uh, quit his job. Like I said, <laughs> but the only thing about Yogi Girl, she annoying. So she may, unless she annoyed him Yeah, too much. Yogi Girl. Because, you yeah, know. She, she on the block. Because Marianne was on the chopping block at first, too, because she was annoying she folks. She sure was. <laughs> So yeah, this whole tribe, I think they're all gonna be flat and flops, but Maddie. I think Maddie can fly of this group. I say I feel like Brandon is gonna be flat. Hopefully he flies. Kane flop or flat. Um Matt, I want him to fly. Jamie Lynn flop. Lauren fly. Maddie flat. I'm actually going fly, fly, flat, flop, fly. Now I can't believe you just uh she said Kane was flying. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's, I you don't said want to fly. Gonna... Yeah, I don't want to fly, but I think he's going to fly. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. The classic uh, people's not. I don't want to say people's hater because you know we're only three people, but the person that nah, not a lot of us want to win ends but, up like Tori. Like we like wanted Tori go. Like yep. Erica, we wanted them. I'm gone, a fan so of all bad. of y'all, by the way. I'm a fan of all y'all. I wouldn't have heard them drive. Uh, uh, we we, I we not. A, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of all of y'all. Not yet. <laughs> But luckily, uh, show starts uh, March um, 1st, right? First? Yeah. Um, so we'll see if y'all can change my mind. <laughs> Is it we'll tomorrow? See. Well, it'll be tomorrow as in like when oh, it's drops. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Oh, so technically it's on tomorrow. And By quick rumor mill, because what? Wasn't it? Actually, no, that would be too spoiler. I just remember Jeff Probst talking a little bit about the season. <laughs> Okay, y'all, uh, just so y'all know, spoiler alerts ahead. So if you don't want any spoilers, click on out, and we'll see you next episode. Go All ahead, right. Eli, with these spoilers. We are on it. <laughs> All right, so some rumors. Mm-hmm. Uh, first one, Jeff, Jeff Probst confirmed Survivor 44 has first showmance in seven seasons. And, and yeah, seven seasons? I thought it was all time. But first showmance. Said- I hope it's a gay show, man. They be, they be, be interesting. I hope they so all because... married. They all married. <laughs> <laughs> and true. You act like oh, people don't cheat. Okay. Oh. You act like people don't cheat. They do, but oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. All love them married. All the gay people married. Yeah, no, Matt's not. married. Josh is with somebody. Yes, they are. So is um Yam Yam. They all have partners if they're not married. Dang. Uh, why would they put <laughs> I'm not gonna lie if I had to single. pick if I had to pick a showman I'm picking uh uh what's his name Danny and Claire actually he no, met, Claire. Danny that, married if, too Danny's Claire Danny's married dang actually, that's a lot of married folks Danny and uh, I actually I don't know watch if Matt they, get some Matt's gonna get some Danny <laughs> What, 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 Claire, what Claire look like? Claire, <laughs> she Claire was the uh, yo mixed queen. Remember? Oh, okay, Light okay. Queen. Oh, mixed. Queen. Oh no, <laughs> look forgettable. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's Brandon, Brandon and Claire. Oh wait, maybe, oh, they different maybe Carson and one of the girls, like a Claire thing. Oh, maybe it's, oh. it happens at the merge though. I wonder if it happens merge or pre merge. Um, but since we on the um spoiler reel, I did hear that um there is a possibility that two people get meta evac um this season. Oh, that sucks. I hope it's not a fave. So yeah. um if the spoiler and I are heard true, one of them might be uh, episode one or like episode one has a bunch of like medical I've heard that too. or something like that. Yeah. So, so everything we just talked about, if I'm wrong, I'm blaming the medevacs. Exactly. I would have been right if there was no meta back. Right, right. They messed us up because typically we be on point a lot of times. So yep. Unless it's an hourglass, you know that yep. that tripped y'all up. Yeah. Yep. Not me because so, you know, I think it. <laughs> y'all ain't got All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as we uh get ready to uh wrap this cast assessment up, um I'm gonna ask um Eric and uh, Eli. Um, Based on first impressions, who is your winner pick? Um, just our winner pick. I'm because I'm gonna be biased because I just Lauren really just stood out to me. So she is my lady winner pick. If I had to pick a male winner pick, I think I would say Carson made history and he won. I want to say that just because I like him. <laughs> I thought the boat was coming, but guess not. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My winner pick is Franny. That's my girl. That's uh, like her. Ms. Zesty. She says she loves the she word Zesty. She did say that. Uh, Zesty and is- then if she gets medevac and I have to pick a guy, uh, you know what? I'm going Danny. Gosh mm. dang, New York Tony vibes. I don't, that's probably the reason why. But mm. why? Um, why do you say Danny would make? I mean, Carson would make history. White people to be the youngest one. survivor. Oh, I've been saying, Eric, I don't know why white people have one survivor. <laughs> no, okay, you've been the, youngest. the youngest. Okay, yeah. that would be history. Um, I want Lauren to win. Um, but I'll take Franny. I'm just basing it off of 
um, things I've seen. And I think Carson actually wins. But um, I want Lauren to win. Oh, before you continue, I, what have you seen? Because I thought you didn't follow him on social media or uh, anything. So what have you seen? Super, super stand. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen anything, but He's more so. Based on what I've told you. Excuse me, what I've heard. <laughs> and um, we've had the conversation um, in a group chat that um, last that season, mouth. Carla ran her mouth on Twitter from episode one to yesterday. So <laughs> if I'm just, I'm just, this is literally the only thing that I have to grasp onto. And the fact that Eric said he all down the timeline, I'm like, oh, he running his mouth, he went for. If he dropping merch, he's getting, he already has oh, his he merch dro- oh, for dropping merch is wild. That's wild. You real confident. Swaggy yeah. C is, is in is in Survivor this year. Um, and- which is funny, his name is Carso. He is Swaggy C. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think he won. So I think like and like you said, like she's talking too much, and we I didn't like I wouldn't be I know I wouldn't be talking down a T line timeline if I didn't be well I'd be day. one y'all surprised. I'd be like, I don't know who won. I wouldn't say much. And so Me too. I, I feel like he I don't say I won't know if he wins, but I feel like he definitely goes far because you gotta oh, be for a sure. Movie. First boot. He definitely merch. top like five first for sure. Because I'm gonna talk about him. If he first boot, if he pre merge anything, I'm talking about you. Because how dare you get him? I know you used the celebrity of it all. It's the factor, wow factor. But how dare you get on my time? I don't ask him. somebody to buy your merch. Person. If you're first, well, boot, get your money. Get these Twitter people to give you money for your merch, and you still out first. Like I respect it. Respect the hustle. Well, look, when did Swaggy C go? Swaggy C was like the what? Like, five or. Like he went early, and yeah. we still talking about him today. <laughs> when Carson go out like singing, I'm a oh I'm a penis deal. It's like boy, I know you like <laughs> cracking. Uh, that's what I said. I'm gonna talk about him real good. But I think he goes far though. I do. He's, too. he's one of my favorites. I just hope this season gives, um, because we have been on a little drought in reality TV world, and we need something to pick back up. Last season of Survivor was just about as dry as um cracked lips in the winter. Um so I hope as the Sahara up. Desert, okay. The Sahara. <laughs> you hear me? The Sahara Desert at the hottest. So Ooh. I really hope this season picks up and I hope it um I I, I want the first episode to pop off and be like, ooh, I'm like I'm in this. Yeah, it has to. Yep. But well, listeners and viewers, we appreciate you as always for sticking it out with us for our Survivor 44 cast assessment. We have been here. We have talked your ear off, but they'll let you know that we are excited. We have renewed energy and hopes for this new season ah. after such a disappointing last season. So <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of thoughts, more than what I thought we would have. But um, this was an exciting episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye. Bye, y'all. Adios. Have a good night.